Bamboo construction in certain part of China or in Hong Kong is, is very important uh, craftsmanship. The craftsmen will be excited to come here to build the 36 meter uh, bamboo structure here and then we could place it in a very precious uh, location, the National Mall here in DC and uh, welcoming one million people to come. Uh, bamboo structure is very simple. But the interesting thing is, you know, um, this craftsmanship is famous for being flexible. So, you know, it is safe and then it's kind of functional and then it's flexible and then this is temporary and it's cheap but reliable. I got hold of uh, bamboo chimes. So the whole structure is bamboo uh, and flower pack, uh, you know, and there are about 1,500 bamboo chimes all installed inside the installation. We can uh, give some kind of the um, audio and uh, visual movement to, to the installation. 1,500 charms, there's a lot of charms. <laughs> so it's an installation by itself. At the same time, we need to prepare the, the, the panels, the decoration panel. The sayings here say, everyday progress, diligent learning, we have all the participants' name listed here because the traditional function of a flower plaque like this is a lot of times it's like to celebrate the opening of a business and your friends can order one of these and like put all the contrib contributors' names on the plaque. So this is like following that practice. The Bamboo Masters, uh, of course I learned so much from them. There's only maybe less than 10 companies in, the, in Hong Kong that they know how to do it. The whole idea of the community spirit, I felt it's so strong in Flower Black. Uh, when Gay is the name of the craftsman, I think he started at the age of 13, 14, from you know, learning it from the father. So he has uh, more than 20 years experience in um, building this uh, bamboo structure and also the Flower Black. So he knows the trade in and out. It's sort of like a slice of Hong Kong. You see what's going on in Hong Kong, the sensibility of those people uh, and how they see things and how they handle things. I think Hong Kong people are most straightforward people. We are very practical. We like to get the things done and then we get it done and then that's it. Uh, and I certainly hope that uh, we can share this with uh, other people. Uh, they may be coming from uh, Louisiana or from <laughs> uh, Michigan or Midwest or from all the way to the south. But they will, if they are interested and they are curious. There will be some traditional foundation. There's some traditions that we should respect in doing this project. I think the most important thing is traditional arts is live art. And it's ongoing art. It's an art that's being practiced from down below and growing up, so it has its root. We are not talking about something that is frozen when we talk about traditions. And I think that's the most important part of the Folk Life Arts Festival, is to find out the roots. Japanese <laughs> 